foot problems for just one second. Not only fixing foot problems that are acute, where you've got some sort of pain that's sharp, shooting, burning, tingling, any of that, but let's also talk about long-term foot problems where you're developing a corn, you're developing a bunion, that you have some sort of plantar fasciitis, things that aren't really working quite right. One of the biggest things that you need to worry about is something called Wolf's Law, the law of bony remodeling. So let's basically keep it really, really simple. What happens is if you tap a bone, if you wrap on a bone, if you stimulate a bone, because of the electrical connections that are in there and the electrical field that's around it, what will happen is that bone will thicken. If I do this every day for a year, harder and harder and harder, eventually you will never be able to break that bone because what will happen is it will become so thick just for become, from this constant stimulation that because of Wolf's Law, it will get thicker. Okay, now the opposite can happen as well. If I don't give this bone any stimulus, then what can also happen, it can become thinner and thinner and thinner and be very um, problems. I look at them almost like a plant in a window. If you take a plant and it's leaning towards one side and you turn it, then it will start to face to the sun and move to the other side. So all of these bony remodeling principles work with the body as well, very, very simply. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you just a couple of simple things that you can do to the foot to help to get the toes spread back out, especially if they are starting to deform or if they're starting to attach together. And um, over time, they will get better and better and better. When I go to work on someone's foot, what I really wanna do is I want to, as much as work on it, well, maybe not quite as much, I wanna teach them how to work on their own foot at home because this is all about homework. You're going to monitor the progress and you're gonna keep things going like when they're in clinic, but for the most part, you're gonna be teaching them the homework to do. So this is a great homework video as well. So first of all, wanna spray a topical on there that's gonna make this whole process more comfortable because in the beginning, sometimes there's inflammation and there's things that are gonna make this quite uncomfortable for the person when you start out, but also you want something like evil bone water that's gonna deliver the herbs straight into the area and reduce inflammation. Then the idea is that you want to make certain that you're spreading the toes apart gently and all the way down and also that you're moving the bones because remember the talus is actually what attaches to the tibia and fibula, not the calcaneus. You want there to be good movement in that. Oof, there was not good movement in that. And right up here along the cuneiforms, if there's a bump here, that needs to be reduced a little bit. So just gent, well, maybe that wasn't gentle at all, but gentle pressure and back and forth movement. Pressure distracts. So again, we wanna distract, traction, move back and forth. Distract, traction, move back and forth. And I'm already starting to get some articulation where I wasn't getting any before, which is a really, really good sign. You only wanna do it to the length of the person's comfort zone. And I normally watch their eyes to make sure that they're not um, squinting too much or starting to make painful signs with their eyes, all right? And then down and out down and out. The biggest one that they can do at home is down and out, down and out. If you were to do that regularly for six months, I guarantee you almost every case of you toes that overlap as bunions, as corns, things like that are going to start to even out. The other really important thing is that when you're exercising or the shoes that you wear most often, that you have a wide toe box and also vary the shoes regularly. I've probably got 10 pairs of shoes that I rotate through every other day or every day um, just to give my foot a different stimulation. That's how our foot is meant to be handled, um, a different stimulation every single day, whereas we can wear the same shoe on the same surfaces every day and it creates kind of like hot spots. So lots of room in the toe box. Make sure that you um, Stimulate the foot every day to spread out just a little bit, and that will start to correct a myriad of problems that you could have with your feet.